Six people, who had never met before, came together to have some topical discussions around what makes them tick. Having these open conversations shines a light on generational misconceptions and understanding modern consumer behaviors. They talk about their habits, preferences, and honest, unfiltered feelings. This is Know Your Customer. Hi, I'm Trevor. Sarah, what do you think about it's important to you when you buy a product or a service? Firstly, do I need it? Yeah. If I don't need it, I won't spend the money because it's <laughs> it's difficult these days with the price of everything going up. Yeah. Food's gone up, drink's gone up, petrol's gone up, everything. As well as that, I think about which the best brand would be, perhaps. Yeah whether I need to pay for a big, well-known brand or just do some research myself. I look for good value for money. Uh, that's very important. You've got to be very careful with money at, at the moment. Um, and being a pensioner. That's just what I was thinking. You know, you, oh, you, you, you've only got limited resources. What's the main thing you think about when you're buying a product? Is it the cost, the quality, the brand? The most important factor, I think, is the actual cost and, and quality. You combine the two, so they are interlinked. If, you, if you're buying, say, a brand, then you shop around and, say, again on the internet and see the best price that you can, that brand is out there for. How do you make decisions about which providers you're going to use, Trevor? I go on the comparative website. Funnily enough, at the moment I'm looking for car insurance. Um, my current provider has quoted me one price and I found it online through a comparison website 30 quid a year cheaper. Now that to me is the saving. It's three pounds. All right, it's only three pounds a month. Thing. For exactly the same product. So to me, it's a no-brainer. I would always go for the the cheapest car insurance that provides the maximum cover. That's brilliant. I haven't got a claim. I was looking for my car renewal insurance, for my insurance, and I haven't claimed for how long have I been driving now? I passed my test in 1981, a long time ago. Yeah. Ne never had an accident, never claimed, and yet the, the insurance provider I was with before, as you say, it was. £57 pounds more expensive than the one I've gone with? Yeah. And the one I've gone with, I've bought other things from them. I've got pet insurance from them. And they've always been very good on that. So their customer service is brilliant. So I've went with them. Yeah. That's, that's it. You've got, at the moment, things like car insurance, household insurance and whatever, you really have to shop around to find the best deal. With, car, with, with insurance, I find it cheaper to change insurer every year. Regularly? Yeah. Yeah. Because you can always find it cheaper. But how do you go on comparison websites? Yeah. Well, so I've never on. used one of those. I wouldn't know how yeah. to. I don't you just put, put the de your details in. Uh, car, vehicle registration. They pick, they can identify. Yeah. And they just press get quote and away you go. You've got a quote. So even if I'm not very good at using technology, oh, okay. something like that is simple. S sub they make it as simple as possible because so they're dealing with people, you know, f from teenagers <laughs> who've just passed the test to old fogies like us. Yeah. yeah. Be careful there. Yeah, <laughs> You're an old fogey. Yeah. <laughs> My problem is, I'm okay with using some technology. I mean, I've actually got a smartphone now, which is something new for me. And I'm okay with ordering my groceries online or sending emails. But when it comes to things like price comparison websites, I wouldn't know where to start. 
My husband can't even, well, he doesn't have a mobile phone. He doesn't send yeah. emails. I mean, how do you manage with people like that? I can't do it, but I suppose I could, but I'd have to have somebody there telling me. I'd rather ring somebody up and speak to a person. I don't know. I think, I mean, the problem is, is that you've got to be, you've got to be internet savvy. And for people our age, we're not internet savvy like youngsters. So it comes to second nature to them, I think, yeah. If, if, if a company is selling a product direct online, my object or their objective should make that application process as simple as possible because they're dealing with people of all ages and you know and you, you take somebody who's older than us <laughs> yeah. Cough a bit. yeah they're not they're not gonna have a clue we, we were not brought up in such an advancing technological age you know which well, didn't have computers did they didn't, well, have I, I didn't have computers. Just about had a phone. Yeah. <laughs> Used to use yeah, a, a phone box line. outside the house. Yeah. <laughs> well, how can a brand gain your trust? There are, well, I can think of three off the top of my head. One is always to provide good quality products. The second one is to treat you as a person. I hate being treated as a number on a computer somewhere. I'd rather be talked to as a person. Okay, yes, I can understand emails and things like that. But I'd rather be talked to as a person. And above all, I really do like customer service. If it's good customer service, if you've got a problem or you want to ask a question, and to put it bluntly, I prefer a UK call centre. So good customer service, yeah. Customer service equals customer retention. I would agree with that. <laughs> if you're providing information to say your insurance company, how would you prefer to be contacted? If it was some, if it was about something like a change to a policy document, I'd prefer to see it in writing. Something just like a, a renewal reminder maybe, I wouldn't mind um, a phone call or maybe even an email if we're getting desperate. But if it's something important, I would prefer it in writing still. Email email me with, me with everything because luckily I've got a printer so any doc renewal documents I can print off and I've got a physical copy so I've always got anything important I always I keep a print off because it's technology is so simple and I'm not so simple that I can always press the delete button in error and the thing is gone forever <laughs>